boys and girls, y'all ready to catch some fish? I'm ready. You kids strapped in, you got your life vests? Yep. <laughs> so what is up guys? I want to thank you very much for joining us for our video today. We are going to go on a little exploratory run offshore back out to Sammy Dam and we're just going to kind of see what is out there. We're going to check for some different structures around the area and we're going to see what kind of variety of fish we can catch today. I'm out here obviously with my dad, we got Odin and my wonderful Aunt Penny who has not yet made an appearance in a video. The reason for that is because she's a total superstar and I don't want her stealing my thunder. So here we go, let's see what we can get. So our drift is took right down away from the rig. Oh, that's your option. Well, what happens to a big rod? Don't do that. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Stop the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, I got big paw, huh? You got both of them. You, Penny, you don't even know. <laughs> Right behind the boat and getting closer.
better as a jumper. Here, buddy. Put it in a box. That'd make a good, good meal. Well, you lose it? Uh, you think that's what that's doing? Well, that may be. Oh, that hurt my feelings. Oh, he's really small, though. Yeah, he's real small. Is your hook okay? I don't know if that, that skirt came all and done. But your hook's not. That's his mouth. Oh, no. Oh, you're oh, kidding. Oh, no. Poor baby. Oh, no. He ran off with his lips. <laughs> Look at that. I got his entire jaw. Oh, <laughs> poor that poor baby. That poor guy got his teeth and everything. Oh my god, how did that milkshake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like one of those cartoons where you pull the cartoon character's face <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, Man, I wish I'd got that. I thought you were just all fouled up. Uh -oh. So, Nathan and I ran here one day. We got a whole mess of these. Well, oh, shoot, that's game on then. Let's let's take a crack at that. I agree. I'll get back on. Do that again. Do you want to try it? Keep going. Keep going. You're good. Yeah, that's how it's done. That's how we're gonna get it done today. All right, that's your plan to do that. Dude. All right, sounds good. Uh, sounds like a plan. By the rig. I don't know if that's the bumper. Probably these hardtails because that's the direction I got this guy. Could be hardtails, yeah. I didn't get that close to the boat. <laughs> you think you'd be coming out in the green water catching Dorado this morning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, throw them in the box. Throw them in the box. Come 
to smoke them. I'd rather smoke three than two. Don't get many bluefish down here. Fun catch. I'm gonna have some fun with that. There we go. You can see it better. <laughs> And we actually have a super long weekend planned. So we are going to go ahead and get back. I want to talk about this after we get back to shore. Have you ever had one of those days where you just kind of needed a wheelbarrow for the amount of fish that you caught that day? You know, like maybe one of those days where you just caught a whole lot of fish, like maybe not even the fish that you were looking for, but it just happened to be one of those days where you just catch a ton of fish. Today was a little bit different kind of day. We caught a lot of fish and we caught a nice variety of fish, but we really had to work to get them. We had to stretch every single style of fishing that we could in order to get all of these guys. Made for a pretty long day. And some of this stuff is not stuff that we normally would keep, like a bumper here, or a hardtail blue runner like that, or a look down like that. That's not something you see every day. But I went ahead and kept this stuff because I want to try cooking up some of the other fish. I want to do a series of videos where we cook up other fish and we see how they taste and we compare them to the stuff that we normally catch. And not everybody needs to be focusing on speckled trout, redfish, fish like that. There is quite literally plenty of fish in the sea. So let's try them all and see who's the best and see if there isn't maybe some recipes that we can do with some of these other guys it makes them totally enjoyable as well that guy's a winner i love these i have one other species down here that i totally want to show on camera i need something special to pick him up out of here because i don't want this guy to ruin my day and i needed just a little extra time to get this guy out of here uh because i wanted to be super careful <laughs> this guy We've caught them before, and they will absolutely ruin your day if you do not handle them right. However, from what I've heard, from what I imagine, they taste pretty darn good. The scorpion fish. I am super excited about taking a crack at this guy. He's the cousin of the lionfish, and if you get stuck by one of those fins, you are going to be done for the day. So 
so we're gonna be really careful about handling him. And I cannot wait to get him into a baked dish with Rachel. Here this year before, you know, 2020 happened, uh, we were trying to get Rachel and I our Elite Angler Award. That is five master class sized fish that you have to catch, you know, above average size kind of fish. And today I think we might've got one. And I did not get this guy on camera. Uh, I was just having some issues with the camera, it happens from time to time. However, I did happen to catch a really nice size skipjack, and we're gonna take a look at that now, because this guy, I believe, could be our elite angler skipjack. Let's take a look now. This puppy right here is our really, really big skipjack. And we need to get a picture of that. I need to see. I got on the screen right here the size that's needed for the elite angler skipjack. We're gonna take a look at him right now and see where he lands. You can look, <laughs> it is so close. It is so close, but I can't even see on the camera. He is over that point of the tail. Look at that right there. That point is over the 21 inch mark. That is our elite angler ladyfish something special right here while we were out there fishing today we managed to get ourselves into a couple of these sand trout and this guy right here is a little bit larger than the other guys that we were getting so we're gonna take a look right now and see if maybe we didn't get our hands on another elite angler fish let's take a look the elite angler sized uh, sand trout is 14 inches And you can see right there, that puppy clocks in right there. You can see he clocks in at over 15 inches. Bam, right there. Two elite angler fish in one day. We had to play a little bit of catch up. It's been a rough year. 2020 is absolutely hammering all of us. However, uh, I'm afraid Rachel's got a little bit more catching up than I do because I'm two out of five. I only need three more of my elite anglers to get my award and to get on to the uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife website. Fortunately, we have another trip coming up tomorrow that I'm super excited about. Stay tuned.